This is a heavy duty, dual head, four gallon cold break cleaning keg. You'll use it to flush your cleaner and your sanitizer through your jockey box. There are other options on the market, but if you use one like ours with Sankey D connections, you can not only clean your jockey box, but also your couplers, your beverage jumper, and your faucets. For you brewery people out there, this is essentially what we know as cleaning in place. No need to disassemble anything. Our cleaner is PBW. It's an environmentally friendly alkaline cleaner. It's particularly effective in cleaning the organic material that will naturally build up over time through normal use. And it's safe on the components in your jockey box. You don't wanna cut corners on cleaner. Never use dish soap or ordinary household solutions internally. For a sanitizer, we use Star San. This odorless, flavorless, biodegradable, acid-based cleaner is high foaming, which makes it great for penetrating all those hard to reach nooks and crannies. At the end of your event, close all CO2 valves, then pull the relief valve on your coupler to release any excess pressure inside the keg. Now, disconnect your coupler. And your keg can go away while you begin cleaning. Our cleaning keg is the workhorse in the process. It has two Sankey D coupler connections, which allow us the ability to clean two lines at the same time. To add your cleaner, dissolve one ounce of PBW per gallon of hot water. This is obviously a small four ounce bottle. Larger sizes are also available. When diluting any chemical concentrate, it's important to add the chemical to the water, not the other way around. Attach and engage your coupler just like you would to a keg. This allows our CO2 to now pressurize our cleaning keg. Then open your faucet and let the system run until you see PBW dispense. Once that starts to happen, close your faucet and let everything soak for about 20 minutes. Quick side note, regardless of the cleaning can you're using, it's always important to make sure you depressurize it before attempting to open the lid. Immediately after cleaning, step two is pretty simple. All we're gonna do is rinse our entire system with hot water until it pushes all of the cleaner out. You wanna make sure not to allow any alkaline cleaners to dry on or in any of your jockey box's stainless steel components. For our last step, step three, we're gonna sanitize and purge our system. Similar to cleaning in step one, we're now gonna use our sanitizer, Star San. But note, the ratio of sanitizer to water is more diluted than what it was for our cleaner. So we're gonna add one ounce of sanitizer to every five gallons of water. Keep in mind, we've adjusted that ratio to make just enough for our one tap jockey box. Depending on your model and its coil length, you may have to adjust the volume of your sanitizer solution as necessary. Open the faucet and let the sanitizer push out all of the water. Now, allow the sanitizer to stay in contact with the coils for at least one to two minutes so it can do its job. Since Star San is a no rinse sanitizer, all we're gonna do is let our cleaning keg run dry, leaving CO2 to purge our coils. Now that cleaning is complete, all we have to do is dump the ice and prep for storage. 
By following the proper cleaning procedures, you're doing the right thing by setting up the next person who uses it for success. Taking care of your jockey box will protect your investment and provide a lifetime of reliable use. Have questions? Email us, support at coldbreakusa.com. Until next time, cheers.